Hi guys, it's Chris here from techtablets.com with the Chewy VI 10. I've installed Windows 10. This is the latest Insider preview. So that's build 10.162, which is the latest build currently out at the moment. And probably you could say the most stable and probably going to be like the retail version when that's finally out on the 29th. So I've been using it for a little while and just give you my thoughts and opinions on it. It, it seems to run really well on the Chewy. The i10 here, I did have a couple of problems with the drivers for the touch screen, which is now all working fine. What happens is Windows Update will download a driver that actually doesn't work well with the screen. Now it's working fine, but what is happening is you touch along here and it would be registering over here. So there was a few problems with that. There is a fix on my website. I've downloaded, uh, I'm sorry, uploaded the actual files there for the firmware for the touch screen. So that will be sorted out and all works fine on the tablet. A couple of things I've noticed that, um, of course, the home button's working and you get the new menu here with Windows, which is fine. It takes a while to get used to going through the actual power button icon, sorry, here to restart and shut down. It's not the normal, you know, you swipe. I'm so used to doing that, swiping along. There's a bit of a delay there. You do have all these extra settings here. So now we have battery saver mode, which is something that's new. Uh, I don't like the way they have the brightness, so it's obviously it's set at 25% 50, so they're using in quarters there for adjusting the brightness. I'm one of those people that like to fine tune my brightness, so I can't just swipe like I could on Windows 8.1. Swipe along here, go settings, and then tweak it up and down. Of course, you can go through the long-winded way of going through the battery icon here. Um, if that's going to work for me, you know, power options, here we go. Not double clicking it, and then you can, you know, use the uh, familiar menu that you've seen in Windows 8.1 here. So I can slide and adjust the brightness. I do actually think my automatic brightness is on at the moment because it doesn't seem that bright. Now you do have the notifications menu here, which pops up with so many different things here that you can, you know, you get all the notifications from various different ap applications here, which is which is fine. It's you know something new. It's all new. It takes a little while to get used to these things. Your quick location on and off. Turn that off if you want. Bluetooth. Uh, VPN if you're using a VPN. Uh, battery saver. I'll just go to that now. If I hold that down, I can go to settings. And you do get various options here. Like it will actually tell you your battery use here. So it'll tell you what is actually using the battery the most. So here at the moment it's telling me that the display is sucking up most of the power using 75%. You can restrict background applications. So Google Chrome has been the biggest culprit here, consuming most of my battery. Uh, apart from the screen, of course, that's after the screen. So if we have a look along here, you can actually just change a few settings. And there's some things you can do. You can automatically turn it on. One of those interesting options here with the Windows 10. So you can actually restrict to various applications that run in the background. So you can change background applications. So if you decide that, you know, I don't want clocks and I don't want any of those, you can turn all those off and the store to be running in the background sucking up power. Now that is, is quite good to see that. That's something that is, is nice there and a good little change. They're focusing on battery. However, I've found that the battery life has actually been a little less than Windows 8.1 for me. I mean, at the moment, it's saying I can probably get 7 hours and 24 minutes there with the Battery Bar Pro here that I'm running the application. But, of course, it's not actually calculating that properly yet, the discharge, discharge rate there of the tablet. It's saying 0 watts, so it's not working that out just yet. It needs a little bit more time to give me that figure. And now other things here with the system, obviously we've got uh, the display now is where the auto brightness I think is controlled instead of power. That's right here. So if I turn that off, wow, suddenly I have full brightness now on my screen, which is uh, good to see. So it's not under the power and sleep power anymore. Another interesting part of Windows 10 here too is the storage, which is probably going to be quite useful for a lot of people here. So if you store install a new application, you're going to be able to actually... If you have the uh, storage connected, I've got nothing connected at the moment, but if I come along here and insert a uh, USB pen drive, I will now be able to select here to store new applications onto the actual drive here. If I put a micro SD card in, it's not coming up, probably because I don't have the correct format. This is FAT32, and it probably needs to be NTFC format. But that's interesting. You can save your new documents now to change the actual location. So when the micro SD cards in there, like local disk, okay, I can change 
at least to this drive here, which is the D drive. But I think applications, if you do have another drive on there, you can change that. And maybe it just depends on the format, as I mentioned there. So there's, there's a few changes there. Now, uh, Microsoft Edge seems to be good. I mean, it's it's definitely nice. If you have a pen like a Microsoft Surface, it's something that can support the pen input there, then you can actually write on the screen too. There's an option to do that. You can use your finger, of course, but right here now you can you can highlight something. So you're like, oh yeah, that's a that's oops, where's the pen? There it is. Got to select it first. So you can highlight the price or something like that, and you can write on here, you know, whatever you want to. That uh, you, you know, you scribble something down some notes with the pen more accurately than my finger there, at least. So that's uh, it's just something that's uh, new and interesting there with the the new browser. Uh, what I'd also show you is the way that it renders here. So I'm just going to need to get out of this, exit that. And now let's jump into tech tablets here. So the, the keyboard still doesn't want to auto pop up there, even though it knows I'm on a touch a touch system, probably because I'm in desktop mode at the moment. So if I switch over and, and go to tablet mode, which basically just kills off my desktop, it should work now. There we go. So now it knows, yeah, okay, it's definitely a tablet. You want tablet mode. Probably also because I have a mouse connected, it probably thinks that I don't want the pop-up keyboard to pop up there. So if I uh, just go into techtablets.com here and to show you how that loads up. My internet connection is not the fastest, but uh, it seems to be all right. Overall, the browser does, uh, does seem quite speedy and yeah, no, no real issues. I haven't had anything crash yet. Now we do have that new little assistant thing that Oh, I need to be in. I need to be in desktop mode for that one to show up. When you do search, or maybe under the search, it's going to pop up. Here it is. It seems a little bit laggy at times. That, and I don't know whether it's something I'd actually take advantage of. You know, you can have it do reminders. Uh, what's it called? Cortana or something? Um, she forgotten the name of it, but it would help you. You know, you can do sorts of things and schedule something and whatnot. You know, features that a lot of users probably won't even use or touch, but you know, it's it's there and. If you experiment around it, you might actually end up liking that. So this is the, the desktop mode, which when you go to the Windows button now, is going to bring up full screen and have all your applications and everything here. Uh, you do have other ways to bring up the menu here and most use applications are going to be up there for you. So there's a little difference. So if I swipe again from the side, like the charm bar menu, which I might miss a little bit, you can also go along here and just disable that and now it's gone back into desktop mode. So it's kind of like running the Metro application. Everything will run just in Metro for you, like the Metro mode before, which what they used to call that. Uh, when you are running tablet mode and when you're not on desktop, then you have the actual desktop. Now there's an also a way to preview multitask here with uh, bringing up everything just by using this button here. So you have the desktop mode and you can bring up and use it that way. So there's no more swiping from the left like that where you can you can't do it swiping between apps as you would on Windows 8.1. It's different now, so you you can select now, just go straight to that. Okay, okay, boom, bring that up. All right, now I'm I'm running again back in Windows Edge there. So it's different, but I do like the fact this start bar is now back in. And yeah, it's just like anything new. It's going to take a little while to get used to it, to get accustomed to the new whole layout of everything of Windows 10. Um, now I did actually just install this on top of the original Windows 8.1 Bing and that went fine. It uh, actually does say it's activated here. If I bring up the settings menu, if I go into system, settings, system. And I'm just going to find it now because it's the new kind of control panel. You can bring up the other one. Okay, so update and security. Here it is. Activation. And it does tell me that it is activated here. So apparently, if you've got a valid key, which this did have a Windows 8.1 valid key, then it will update to Windows 10. You'll probably get some sort of pop-up saying, you know, to, to come out of inside a preview. I think that's what Microsoft's been saying. So it's not entirely clear yet. Uh, nor have I been reading up that much about that. But you will be able to, from any of these Chinese tablets, to pretty much go from Windows 8.1 Bing straight onto Windows 10 when it's released. You just have to keep running those Windows updates and then it will pop up and you should be able to do it that way. Or you can download the ISO when that's released, create a, um, a drive to install it off. So you, you download the ISO and then make yourself a bootable memory stick, boot onto that and then upgrade and install from there. And then you'll eventually have yourself 
Windows 10. It took a long time to install, and it also took up a lot of space to install it, which was a bit of a worry. Um, I did end up having to remove, we well, didn't have to, but really Windows runs a lot better on this tablet than Android. The Android ROM is, yeah, it's okay. So what I did is actually just completely killed off Android, deleted it, merged the partitions, and I did create uh, another partition here because it wouldn't let me merge that onto my final Windows, but it did end up with 23 gigabytes of Windows, but my free space is a little bit low at the moment because I have other files and things going on on the, on the Chewy VI 10 here. And I'll just show you quickly that it will play 4K video. This is just a 4K video that I recorded earlier on one of the tablets I was testing out. And if I run that, you'll see that this is 4K clip, will run fine. and goes, skips around, it doesn't have any problems actually, doesn't start or anything, it seems to be quite fast in it, so that's pretty impressive running that like that, and I'll just show you here that the uh, properties of the file details, you can see the resolution there hopefully on the video, it looks a little bit analyzed because of the screen resolution, so you hope you can see that there, that it's definitely a 4k clip there that I recorded and yeah, it doesn't have any problems playing that. So all in all, new, new kind of applications, runs the windows a little bit smaller there without so much of that sort of the uh, the window border around it is now minimal. So it looks a little bit nicer. So yeah, that's, uh, that's the Chewy VI 10 there running Windows 10. Hope you like the video and thanks for watching it if you've made it this far watching the video that is. And uh, hopefully I'll catch you in my next video. Bye for now.